Oh, good morning, me hearties. Excellent stuff. Wednesday morning, and it's uh, 20 minutes to nine. First thing on Wednesday morning, so a very, very warm welcome to you. If you happen to be scrolling through, stay with us, because this is Scotty McClue, hashtag float I, the first lord of the internet. This is TikTok's top live. This is TikTok's top talk show. So never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue. This is something very, very big and something very, very different. So very, very good morning to you. If you've just joined us, come and join in the fun. Hashtag Floatai, all uppercase, first lord of the internet. And I'm live for you. Just saying a dinky too. There we go. We'll just sort out the the focusing of the phone for you. That's marvellous stuff. Morning, Scotty, my friend. Morning, P.I. Score. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do to you first thing in the morning. Now, I've uploaded lots and lots of amazing TikTok videos for you guys. So don't miss a second of them, seriously, because they're all for you. Remember, mainstream media is letting you down. There's nothing joyful, cheerful laughing, fun. So we're doing it all in TikTok. So this is the place for you to be. Fantastic. Everybody join us as soon as you can and follow Scotty McClue. This is the big one. <coughs> Pardon me. We had perhaps the most awesome live ever last night. So it just says to you, don't ever miss a second of Scotty McClue's lives. How amazing is that? Morning. Can I get a dinky do? Aha. You can always get a dinky-doo from Scotty McClue. Never, ever a doubt about that. How fantastic is that? Never stroll and never troll, guys. This is the big one. Come and join us. Hi, says Jack from Liverpool. We love you in Liverpool, Jack. We love the bones of you. I'm telling you. Fantastic. There we are. Great stuff. From the pool. Uh, Scotty McClure is well known in the pool. I can tell you. Fantastic. Scotty McClure. Hello from Newcastle. Do you remember me? AGB. How could I forget you? Was Wallace. You're coming out for a wee booze, Scotty. <laughs> uh, no, I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> So there we are. But thank you for the invitation. Very, very kind of you. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Can I have a shout out, please? Yes, a shout out for Frixty. Frixty quotes. A big shout out for him. Sending hugs and kisses. Thank you so much, Wolf Blaze. Fantastic. Hi, from Ireland, from Cork. Connor, we love you in Cork, down at the old cold quay there. And right out to the river. How amazing is that? Fantastic. Just top of the morning to you, and love to cork. I can't think of a finer place to be. Fantastic. So there you go. You're on early today. Um, well, yes, a little bit early, but quite often we pop up early, you see. Ryan, it's interesting. You just haven't seen us on early. So there we are. Fantastic. But we do random pop-ups. Like the other day we were on in the afternoon at 2 o'clock for a 2 o'clock shout. You know, just incredible stuff. Do come and join us. Stay with us, guys. Very, very important. You're watching Scotty McClue. Hashtag flow die. The first lord of the internet. Just for you, dinky do. Now, you must all get on to the TikTok videos. And you must start following. 650,000 viewers and only 17,000 followers. Tut, 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 tut. But the beautiful people who have followed, thank you. Thank you, I say. Fantastic. Morning, buddy. Morning, Ryan. Hello, Scotty. Lovely to see you. Scotty, how are you, my friend? Clickstar. We are outstanding. Welcome, welcome to our morning pop-up live. Fantastic stuff. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We'll have a little follow amnesty. If you have been naughty and you've been watching without following, get following. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's absolutely lush. And don't forget the Scotty McClure badge. <laughs> we love all that. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Puppet Master. Lovely to have you with us. And did you do Puppet Master? Not Puppet Master, 
Pulpit Master. You've just joined Scotty McClue live. This is the big one. Hi, lovely to have you with us. Hi, random aesthetics. Welcome, welcome, welcome to every single one of you, I say. How amazing is that? Share this with all your other TikTokers as well. Make sure everybody's on here. Did you do? Hi, hi. Hi, hi, everybody. Everybody's coming and saying hi. We love that. I've got the dog to the Scotty. He's going mental help. Ryan, he'll be fine. Ricey, ricey, rice. Thank you so much for my beautiful red rose. <coughs> Five beautiful red roses. Very, very kind. You're lovely, lovely people, guys. Thank you for all your gifts and for all your kindnesses. There we are. It's so much appreciated. The dog will calm down, Ryan. Just you let him listen to Scotty McClure. Follow us, guys. Lamonda29. Thank you for following. Very, very much appreciated. Lovely, lovely. Did you do? We were good. Oh, guys, you've got to watch the first three minutes of last night. Just amazing. I think the most awesome live yet. And that's saying something because we've had some pretty awesome lives. How amazing is that? Good morning, Scotty. Ricey, ricey, rice. There we are. Follow us as soon as you come on. All oh, ghosts. All oh, ghosts. Scroll through the TikTok videos. Tap the top left at my portrait with a blue jumper. And you'll get a ghost story. I tell a ghost story. How scary is that? Fantastic. You look like a professor or a teacher. Oh, Norris Scott, you're very kind. I'm actually both. <laughs> Do join us as soon as you possibly can. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, thank you. From Harry Potter. Yes, that's the big one. Dumbledore. Now, there we go. Fantastic. Jennifer's just joined us. And Jubby and Steelworker has joined us. Steelworker, lovely to have you with us. You're obviously a Steelworker. How amazing. Do you work in steel? Bro, you're looking submissive and breedable. Ah, the real. Don't judge everybody by yourself. Now then, that hat brings a flashback. Of course, Scotty McClue, 29 years, two weeks ago. That's quite good. The ones that said, oh, that will never last, <laughs> 29 years. Where are they now, I wonder? In my best Thatcher voice, where are they? There we are. Scotty, how are you? It's 3.50 a.m. I need to go back to sleep. Bob McElroy in Long Island in New York. Get back to sleep. God is coming for you. God is here for us all. So there we are. So there's a bit of news for you, M. Are you my uncle? No, no. Sorry to disappoint, but there we are. Molly Scotty, how are you? Are you well? Yes, we're absolutely outstandingly well. This is an amazing live. Welcome, welcome, if you've just joined us. Tell all your friends and stay with us. Never scroll. Never go past Scotty McClure. How's it going, Scotty? I'm about to take myself for a well-earned rest. So you should. I can tell you that, Kyle. There we are. Nardwar wants his hat back. Are you good at chess? <clears throat> no. I once went out for dinner with a chess champion. And it was a black and white tablecloth. It took him an hour to pass the salt. So no, I'm not very good at chess. Scotty, can you describe the theory of evolution? You're looking at it, Greg. You're looking at it, son. There we are, our old friend Darwin. Android reveal? No, no reveals at all. That's for trolls who are very simple. Simps. So on here, we're much, much bigger than that. To reveal Android reveal. All that kind of nonsense. That's the kind of rubbish you keep for very substandard lives. Yes. Okay. Not on here. There we are. Followers, guys. Search boss can. Andrea, thank you. The Gret has followed. Bless you. Everybody follow Scotty McClure, guys. It should be axiomatic. There's a nice word for you on a Wednesday morning. A bit of Wednesday wisdom. Axiomatic. <clears throat> Fantastic. I hope you've had a good day, Scotty. Thank you. Nothing found. Good morning. In fact, everything's just been found for you. Do you play golf in Scotland? The people of Scotland very often play golf. I don't because it ruins a good dog walk. There we are. What are your favourite sports, Scotty? Uh, rugby, <coughs> sailing, and I used to do rowing, but when I put it in my CV, 
People thought it was rowing and didn't give me the job. So there we are. Fantastic. Do come and join us as soon as you possibly can. You're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag float eye. This is very big. First Lord of the Internet. Yes, I'm not just an athlete, you know. Dinky doo. Good morning, Dinky doo. What's everybody thinking about the Olympics? Yes, I haven't really got into it. Fantastic to have you with us. This is Skin Skin Fitzgabika. Skin Skin Fitzgabika. Dinky doo to you. Not many people can pronounce your handle. Good morning, Scotty McClure. It's raining in Edinburgh today. Scottish Wolf. There's always a first time for everything. That's what I say. Wonderful. Lovely to have you with us. I used to stay in East Lothian. Whoo! Did it know about rain when it rained? And the wind. And people understate the weather, guys. Have you noticed this? So, in Scotland, in like East Lothian, you could some days barely stand up against the wind. People would call that fresh. Hey, eh? fresh the day. Ken. So that was that one. When it was coming down in steel rods, the rain just about cutting you in half. People would say, showery the day, showery, we shower, yes. So you had that. Then the other one was when it was tropical heat, they'd be out walking with a big tweed jacket on the go. Ah, it's close the day, close the day, mind. <laughs> Dinky do, Mr. Scotty. Was Sean Connery a big icon in Scotland? He was massive in Scotland. Although the prophet has no one on their own land. And as far as I know, latterly, Sean didn't do sort of like theatre. Well, he didn't have to. He was a film star, international film star. But my aunt was serving in a shop in Odrishig and Argyle, and she looked up to her counter, and there was this huge handsome man, Sean Connery. I didn't know this. My cousin told me last year. And uh, Sean Connery, they were filming from Russia with love up at Loch Kriegnish and Krinin on board the ferry uh, Huntsman would be these uh, fast motorboats. Do you know you have lipstick on? Do you know I don't? Isn't that interesting? And remember, I would know and you won't. So there we are. No, it's just a good blood supply to the lips. Very, very fit man, you see. Fantastic. Son is asleep upstairs. Okay, Thomas, we'll, we'll keep it down. Don't panic. Don't panic. Can you not shout so loud? I'm not shouting at all. This is the way I talk, Thomas. There we are. So there we have it. Now then, in fact, it's maybe time the sun was up. I'm just thinking it's 8.54. Give him a shout. Come on up, you'll get. you got such nice eyes. Thank you, Desmond. You're very, very kind. Come and join us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. You're watching Scotty McClue, and it's time we were here. So there you go, and it's time you were here. Have you ever worn a kilt? Oh, big stuff. I wear the kilt. Yes, indeed. Maybe show you a picture later. Come and join us. Thank you, dear. Hello, Mandy Travel Man. Scotty, how are you, my friend? I am fantastic. Have you seen some of the TikTok videos? Have you actually had a look? and liked a few of them, and watched them all? And have you followed me? This is big. TikTok, Scotty McClure Live, massive guys. Beats mainstream media, hands down. Think when you put your telly or radio on. Depressing, depressing, depressing. You watch Scotty McClure, smile, lighthearted, laughter, jokes, funny, good to be here. Yeah, see the difference. There we are, the creek. The creek's brilliant on here. Robster, I like I, Robster. Positive vibes, thank you for your two beautiful hearts. Hi, Daddy, positive vibes. You know I'm not your daddy. So there we are. So good good morning, sir, is what we say. Morning, Mr. McClure, dinky do. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Anthony, there we are. <coughs> Listen to me going, hi. Love the accent. Thanks, Anthony. It's not really an accent just the way I talk. I'm going through random lives asking TikTok as the story. What's yours? I am the first lord of the internet. Need I say more? Two billion people have heard of Scotty McClue. <laughs> Did you hear about the pregnant bed bug? She's having her babies in the spring. 
I see what you just did there. Everything's flooded here because of the rain from the monsoons. It's good for the desert. Sean, what are you doing up? Sean's in Arizona, guys, in the United States of America. Have you had your ready brick this morning? No, no, we have the wheat bangs. Can you say hi, Patrick? Of course I can, Jacob. What a silly question. Hello, sir. Hello, speed and power. Lovely to have you with us. Whatever with Mr. Martin. I know. What is that guy all about? I say. He's got a big problem with me, hasn't he? Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Jacob. You're the highlight of my late night and a sign that it's time to go to bed in the colonies. J. Mac, are you a colonial? What for the day is canny? Now, Robster, be careful. Canny's not a good word if you mean you canny do something, meaning you can't do it. Canny's a good word if you're being careful. So, call canny with a drink is a good one. Cheers. Cheers, Quake Sphere. We love your handle. Whatever happened with Mr. Martin, just he just didn't like Scotty McClue. There was maybe a wee jealousy problem, you know. Uh, were you cute when you were younger? I think I'm cute now. So there we go. I'm probably cuter now than I was. There we are. In dude says Robster Bobster. Lovely to have you with us. I know you don't drink, but is bourbon better than scotch? No, nothing's better than scotch if you're looking at whiskies, because this is the home of whiskey. But a bourbon will get you by if there's no scotch, you know? Have a nice day. God bless you from the Philippines. We like a JD, if you know my meaning. There we are. Thank you. Too. God bless you from the Philippines, JR. JR, what a lovely name. Am I saying it properly from the Philippines? Come and join us, guys. It's just coming up to nine o'clock. This is the big time for lives on TikTok. Scotty McClure, just for you. Sydney, Australia's back in the house. We love you in Sydney, Australia. Love to all of Australia down under. Fair dinkum and dinky do to all the Brucies and Sheilas watching Scotty McClure. Sean says, just go over a sinus infection now. I've got a viral infection, so I should probably get to bed. You get to bed. Your sinuses might be the desert, the dust. You know, have a think about that. My old friend taught in a school in Africa, and I said, do you get colds there, Jack? He said, yes, you get them from the dust. So you never know. Yeah, Scotty McClure, didn't you do? I'm South Australian. We're bound for South Australia. Do you like metal or wood golf clubs? Have you played St. Andrews? I'm not actually a golfer, J-Mac. And a friend once said to me, patted me quite patronizingly on the forearm. He said, Scotty, old son, I think I may be able to get you into the golf club. That would be a feather in your cap because it's very, very exclusive. And I said, I patted him as patronizingly as I could on the forearm. And I said to him, well, don't you put yourself out, chum, because I don't golf. <laughs> ah, let's go, everybody. How many toddlers do you think you could fight before you're overwhelmed? You'd need to ask a grandparent that. But uh, to be honest with you, I don't ever fight anyone. There we are. And all the toddlers I know are an absolute scream. You just have to have a strong back, apparently, because they like to use you as a horse. Fantastic. Is that you behind you? Hey, wait till I see. There's the Labrador. Lord Reith the Labrador. How amazing is he? Okay, dokie. Okay, dokie. Robster, dumpster. Hello, good son. Hello, five fingers. Dinky you do. Who's your favorite Formula One driver? I loved um, Ayrton Senna. I loved Sterling Moss. I loved uh, Johnny Dumfries. I loved Jim Clark. He died when we were wee boys. It's tragic. Is Sean Connery a national treasure? Of course he is. In the same way, Scotty McClue's an international treasure. Fantastic. Now, Mayo live peacefully. Mayo horse not eat Friday's mayonnaise. Mayo knees. <laughs> uh, Mayo live peacefully. 
Fantastic. Jackie Stewart. Ah, the great Jackie Stewart. What was I thinking? Of course. Now you're talking. Uh, Craig Moore, thank you to him. A fan, a huge F1 fan, even though it's not uh, that big here in the States. It's a bit noisy for me. Yeah. Although some decided to make a great commentator for the Formula One. Here he comes just on that corner. Oh, I can't believe what we've just seen. Oh, and again, three of them now in the pileup. He's out, he's out, he's out. Melting snowflake. There we are, dinky do. So there we are. So the Formula One, it's like the fastest town in Scotland, which is near, near. You'd make a great commentator. I thank you, Five Finger Gorilla. You're very kind. It's wonderful. I was once asked at a very big radio station to join the sports team in the commentary box on Saturdays because I'd been telling a joke with a commentary in it. Said, Scotty, what about joining us for the, the big commentary and doing a bit? I said, I don't know anything about football. And I loved this. The head of sports says, good, well, you'll fit in well with the rest of us. <laughs> Isn't that a gorgeous thing to say? Huge humility from a professional. Uh, I've heard Highlander bagpipes are playing. Oh, yes. There we are. Uh, Melty Sovereign, we never, ever, ever slag off our other broadcasters on here. We are not a knocking shop. Uh, Dinky do, good morning to you, Mr. Scotty McClure. Mammy 1821, how lovely to have you with us at a big dinky do. Fantastic. Thank you, Blackwell777, for three beautiful red roses. You are very, very kind indeed. Robert Wilson was a fine singer. He was, but you know, um, I'm a Kenneth McKellar fan. Robert Wilson, I love his Wells O'Weary. Oh, Bonnie, Wells O'Weary. But Robert Wilson was a slightly different generation to Kenneth. Uh, Robert Wilson used to sing in the cinemas at the break. They put him on. Very, very fine Scottish tenor. And Sidney Devine toured with Robert Wilson in the early days. Robert had been in a car accident latterly, I think, and he wasn't quite so good, but a very fine singer. Yes, indeed. Um, but Kenneth McKellar, if you can get a chance to hear him, cinnamon, says X Daisy. No, cinema. There we are, not in the cinnamon, in the cinema. Scotty, my boy, give us a joke. I went into the doctor. I said, I'm limping a bit. He said, gout. I said, I've just come in. Murray Walker is a legend. Murray Walker was a legend, but still is a legend. Yes, absolutely, Bradley. You are correct. I don't know what my name is, Dinky Doo. Bra, happy, chappy. Uh, there we are. Officer Khan. We salute you, Officer Khan. Fantastic. We salute you, sir. There we are. What a dog doing? Uh, the dog passed away eight weeks ago, sadly to say, we Lord Clyde, but he was nearly 14 and a half. Fantastic, fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. Gout, ah, did you like that? Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. We want to have everybody. Have you followed? Now, be honest with yourself. Have you followed Scotty McClue live on TikTok? That's the most important question in the world Today, have you followed Scotty McClure on TikTok? Every news station in mainstream media should start with that as their lead story. Good morning. Here is the latest news. And we begin with a very important question worldwide. Have you followed Scotty McClure on TikTok? That's the news for today. Our next news will be at 10 o'clock. Good morning, everybody. Aye, says Robster, you clever man. Do you like that one, Robster? No, I haven't. Well, you get following. I tell you that, plain lord. Or pain lord. Pain lord. Oh, sorry, if you're suffering pain lord, then just do it when you can. Headed over to Kilcreggan from Gurukh today. John Young, is the boat back running all the time? I love that. I used to go over on Richie's Ferry. Yes, Richie Brothers, Lady Jane, took you from Gurukh to Kilcreggan. 
and commit at the side of the pier, and it sailed in all weathers. Fantastic. I renamed my iPod the Titanic, so I plug it in. It says the Titanic is sinking. I see what you just did there. What's your word in the street with a Loch Ness monster? <clears throat> right, keep this between ourselves. But it's a wee while since they've had an actual sighting. That's between you and I, okay? Not a word. Mum's the word. Fantastic. That's the word of the street. God bless you, lad. I always support other Scotsmen. So you should five finger gorilla. Uh, the boat's still running. Richard's ferries to go over the workers over heading to Cove. That's right. Well, that was Roy Ritchie who I worked with. That was W R Ritchie, and then there were Ritchie brothers. They were the same family but separate companies. So there we are. Roy went out on his own in the nineteen fifties and had the Granny Kempuk. The Gorokian, the ex Ashton Clyde Ferry, the Countess of Kempock, the ex Countess of Bredalbin, and Roy was a lovely, lovely man. Did I ask? Darren, you asked. The whole world has asked. So always ask Scotty McClure. All right, Darren. Uh, and that sorted you out for being a wee bit cheeky. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a different kilt occasions. Ah. Oh, Emceeing for huge concerts, fiddlers rallies, Highland nights, weddings, Highland games, chieftain of the Highland games, regimental balls, all that stuff, kilt on, fascinating. There you are, John. Amazing. And Roy and I worked together for four years. I was in the Granny Kempock and the Ashton and I used to go to Helen's Rub about half a dozen times a day. I would take the fares, sweep up the cabin, steer the boat, and help start the big Kelvin engine. Boom, 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 boom. Fantastic. Okay, I'm sorry. Not at all, Darren. Everybody asks Scotty McClue. That's what made it look a wee bit silly. I didn't want you to look too silly. Maybe a wee bit silly, but not too silly. So I had to explain to you that everybody's asking. You know what I mean? Scotty McClue is regarded as a source of information, education, entertainment, knowledge. You know, so everyone's always asking on here. Do you see the difference to the sort of usual lives that maybe you're used to watching? Uh, I played the fife many a times. Absolutely. There's that the fife as in the fife and drum. Or did you used to play football against fife? There we are. What is this? This is the first lord of the internet. This is the biggest thing on the internet right now. Just incredible, so enjoy. It was a joke, Darren. We know it was a joke. I was only explaining, son. Just explaining. Follow us as soon as you come on, you know. You see, it, it wasn't the best joke for you to make on here. You said it, lad. Ah, you said it, lad. Robster, Dobster. Robster, Bobster. There's Royster Doister. Have you ever heard of Ralph Royster Doister? What's your opinion on the Glencoe massacre? I was disgusted. I thought it was shocking. Stabbing other clans in the back. Low life stuff. Mind you, King William, and I know the Orangemen won't like me saying this to them, but King William was actually a very, very bad man. And he was also very deviant in life. He was devious and deviant, but he was a very poor choice of monarch. So I'm sorry about that, but King Billy was a baddie, guys. There we go. Uh, Queen Anne was the one that got the union together. She was at the jiggery pokery. I can tell you that. Rory Red Robster playing a scandali would be on my bucket list. What sort of instrument is that, John? <laughs> what are your pronouns to user seven seven one? We never ever ever do pronouns on here. It's old fashioned, it's rude, it's divisive, and it's an attempt at labeling. And as if that wasn't enough, we are all inclusive. Nobody ever has to justify themselves on Scotty McClure. There we go. An accordion. I've got it for you, John. 
How many unicorns have you seen? Stacks and stacks, because I have got the second sight. Uh, there we are, the unicorns exist. What city are you from? From the good city of Glasgow, and also Manchester, Liverpool, Sheffield, Hull, Leeds, Nottingham, Derby, London, Carlisle, Newcastle, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Inverness, Aberdeen. I've walked in all these places, guys. Are you a broadcaster? Yes, the world's top broadcaster, apparently. There we are. And Greenock, John Greenock, a fine town. Not a city, but a fine town. Dundee, have you ever been to the United States? No, no, but I would adore to come to the United States because Scotty McClure is massive in the United States, especially with TikTok. So there you go. Follow us as soon as you go on, guys. Do you know Scotland is the oldest tree in Europe? <clears throat> Are we talking the yew tree at Fortingall in Perthshire? Is that what we are talking? What do you make of the Orange March? Well, it's a bit dated nowadays. And it's not indicative of what happened at the Battle of the Boyne. For instance, they all wore green, so not orange. There was no orange there. So they were wearing green uniforms. And it was more of a skirmish. And one side kind of ran away. And it was one monarch, one British monarch, fighting another British monarch. So the guys got involved in it. So really, if we do have Scottish independence, we'll be taking the crown with us. And the nationalists need to know that. There will never, ever, ever be a Scottish Republic. Yes, Her Gracious Majesty the Queen is the one for us in Scotland. We've had a monarch for 12,347, sorry, 2,347 years. That's how old the Scottish monarchy is. What a joy to have spent the past week in Canada, John Young. That bend of the river, the bridge there, 1850, the wee bridge, just beside the Bayard Bun. Did you stop at the bridge and park and walk away up and see the old railway at the Bayer Bun. There's a lovely big house there called Bayer Bun Foot. Then you look over the parapet of the bridge and see the Esk. Lovely. Beautiful bend in the river. Then you can go on to the Rowan Bun, which runs down nearer to the village. And then you can go to the Cross Keys Hotel and have a beautiful meal. And I used to eat in the Riverside Inn, which was outstanding. Beautiful old Georgian building. I love Cannon Bay. Have you ever seen Ness and Shay? Uh, no, no, not personally. But then she might not come out when I'm there. Somebody might say, the press are in. Scotty McClue's here, Nessie. Staying in. Staying in. There we are. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Are there any weird laws in Scotland by global standards? Uh, no, Scottish law is outstanding. There's no trespass law in Scotland. See, Scottish law is based on Roman law. Yes, and uh, it's much better than English law, which is based on common law. Do you see the difference? So there we go. Also quite a bit of European law in it. Follow us as soon as you can. My girlfriend and I work in broadcasting. She's currently at the Olympics. Excellent, J Mac. We love it. Please tell us Scotty McClure is asking for her. And Scotty McClure is asking for you, J Mac. There we go. Ever been to the Hydro? Which Hydro? Creef? Skelmery Hydro? I don't think Open Hydro ever opened. Uh, Peebles Hydro? Fantastic. Thank you, do. There's a few hydros for you. Hoping you're doing great today. Corey K, always doing great live on TikTok. We've been joined by 17,000 beautiful followers and uh, nearly 40,000 likers. We popped a video up the other day, Friday, I think it was Friday morning, Friday midday. 20,000 people have watched one video. <laughs> 600,000 
have watched these lives. Amazing. Did you eat at the Riverside during your Potter TV days? I did, John Young, yes. And a lovely gentleman, I, I remember, joined me in the bar for lunch and he owned a Peel Tower. Isn't that lovely? And he said to me, if I ever wanted to pop in to feel free, I think he maybe knew me from the television and I would pop in and have a lovely lunch at the Riverside on the way to Border TV. Fantastic. Gosh, John Young, you're well informed, my dear man. What's considered root in Scotland? Uh, cheeking up to Scotty McClue is frowned upon universally, but in Scotland it's a real no-no. You know, so these trolls would not be popular in Scotland for cheeking up to the main man, to hashtag flow tie. So that would be rude, I think. Also not buying your round is a wee bit rude. And uh, I think that's about it, really. So there we are. What do you call a motorcycle gang made up of ancient bisexual Norse monarchs? The Vikings. I love that. Would a very, very rich Arab dairy farmer be known as the Milk Sheikh? That's why I was wondering. What's your pronouns? We never, ever, ever do pronouns on here, your dad. They're rude, divisive, old-fashioned, and it's an attempt at labelling. Who was your favourite comedian? Oh, Mammy, now you've got me. Billy Connolly. Kevin Bridges, uh, who else have I got? Uh, Chick Murray, Lex McLean, Walter Carr, comedy actor. Uh, who else have we got? Chick Murray, uh, I said Chick. Scotty McClue, I was a stand-up comedian until I was asked to sit down. I only gave up comedy because everybody was just laughing at us all the time. Uh, so there we are, fantastic. Favourite place in the United States? Sounds like I'd love New York City. Sounds like I'd love the Carolinas. Sounds like I'd love Florida. Sounds like I'd love Texas. Sounds like I'd love Kentucky. Sounds like I'd love Louisiana. Sounds like I'd love Ohio. Sounds like I'd love Washington, D.C. and Washington State. Sounds like I'd love Canada. Sounds like I'd love Oregon. Sounds like I would love, have I said Texas? Yes, I think I said Texas. Sounds like I would love Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain and the waving wheat do sure smell sweet as the wind comes right behind the rain. I know where. Hello from Pennsylvania. Sounds like I'd love Pennsylvania. Do clans still functionally exist in Scotland? To an extent, your clans have clan gatherings, and very often they have um, clan societies, and some of them are pretty big because there's still a lot of chiefs around. And from Texas, it's very fun and history orientated here. I think I would love it in Texas as well, you see. Come and join us, everybody. I might just spend the rest of my natural touring America with a wee show. Walter Carr was sublime as Doogie and Parahandy. He was, John. I knew Walter very, very well. I worked with him uh, at Lochry Theatre. Um, I have a house in Florida and a loft in Chicago. He used them any time, good sir. What a beautiful thing to say, J. Mac. Hello from Australia. You are Yankee? No, I'm an Australian. You look like, like the guy from something, Vid, I don't know what that is. I'm so sorry. RT. RT? T1. Very difficult to see sometimes. Dinky do. A very, very warm welcome if you've just joined us. Fantastic to have you with us. Ah, the Festival Theatre in Pitlochry, next to the Salmon Ladder. Yes, I was the Assistant General Manager at the opening of, uh, of the new theatre. Fantastic, lovely stuff. Look it up on YouTube. Yes, I will do if I can get the time. So there we are. Now, Isaac. 
Isaac, you are completely on the wrong live, on the wrong track, thinking the wrong way, being puerile, uh, being silly, totally miscalculating the quality of the live here. So for all of that, plus being a troll, we're going to toast you oh, and send you Doom the Swanee. Guys, Isaac Z3 is leaving us for being an idiot and going Doom the Swanee. Here he goes. Three, two, one. Woo! There he is. Isaac 3 was blocked. Lifetime ban for a dafty. There we are. Now, who have we got here? What English-speaking accents do you find hard to understand? Well, obviously, my own's a challenge, but because I live with it all the time, we're getting there. I don't find any English accents difficult to understand. You see, I've worked all over the country. I love my Liverpool. I love my Manc, my Manchester. I love my Yorkshire line, my South Yorkshire, my Midlands, my London. Whoa, what are you saying? I love all of that. So I just don't find any accent hard to understand. You do have to listen. Rangers or Celtic, RT1. My advice to you is to go and see both teams play and then make up your mind. That's what it's about. Follow us, guys. As soon as you can, you make me laugh, says Isaac. Well, there you are. Uh, do you think the names of some of our streets in Glasgow linked to slavery should be changed? I don't know, Mammy. I'm not one for debunking history. Otherwise, you would have to knock down the whole of the United Kingdom, all of Holland, all of Ireland, all of um, France, all of Germany, all of Africa, all of India, all of, uh, where else? All of Australia, all of the West Indies. So you would need to completely destroy the world if you wanted to remove any reference to slavery. Because still now you have slaves. And in context, it was very fashionable to run slaves. The conditions were disgraceful by modern standards. Shocking, even by standards then. The commodities. But everybody at that time, every country, traded in slaves, including Africa, including India, including America. So you need to knock down the whole of the United States, north and south. Yeah. So if you're prepared to do that, that would get rid of slavery. But as for changing, we changed St. George's Place to Nelson Mandela Place. I was wondering if they might change Bishop Riggs to Bishop Tutu. But in Greenock, you've got Jamaica Street. Um, what else have you got? Jamaica Street. Um, you've got, um, oh, stacks and stacks of streets. Nelson Street, called after Lord Nelson. You've got um, Antigua Street. You've got, uh, and it goes on like that. There's stacks of them in Greenock, you see, called after slavers. So you would need to actually completely flatten the whole world if you want to go with the woke. But I don't think we should ever be debunking slavery. You know, I think we have to let people know that it happened. You know, all your docks, Liverpool, Cardiff, Bristol, Glasgow, Port Glasgow, Greenock, the whole lot, slavery, you know. Uh, do you think the names, so there we are, so the names of Glasgow, so Glasgow, you've got Jamaica Street, you've got India Street, you've got, oh, just too many to go into, all connected with slavery, because Glasgow was the centre of the tobacco industry, 
and controlled the whole of Virginia. There we are. Your eyes are beautiful. I thank you, you said Isaac. So I would leave everything intact, but you can make people aware. Yeah. And there would have been no grand houses throughout the world if it wasn't for the slavery. Tobacco, sugar, cotton, Manchester. There'd be no Manchester without it. You see? So nothing would exist. There were, and I don't think that students should come from other countries and start dictating to the ancient universities what they call their colleges. You see what I mean? Just be grateful. Send them down the swanny. Uh, so there we are. This drip, no, I think you mean Goa. Goa in India, I haven't, but I believe it's beautiful. What's your secret to being so jovial? Uh, I don't know, J-Mac, that's just me. I mean, I've had a beautiful, beautiful life. I've been very lucky. People have been very, very kind to me. And um, apart from one very, very bad man, very bad man, evil, evil person, who took my life savings off me in a business deal, uh, you know, apart from that, I've never met a bad person, and I think that's good. And I was telling somebody this, I said, well, be careful, Scotty, there's a lot of them about, but I've only met one bad man. You know, there we are. Morning, Scotty, good morning. I'm thinking of going to uni at Durham, Glasgow, or Edinburgh. What's your recommendation? Glasgow is mine. I'm not biased, but there's Glasgow. That's me uh, graduating from Glasgow. Uh all the Scottish universities, you see, Scotland's miles ahead of England. England only had two universities, Oxford and Cambridge, when Scotland had four, Aberdeen, St. Andrews, Edinburgh, and Glasgow. Scotland has got stacks down. Durham is a beautiful university, if you're going to an English university. Glasgow and Edinburgh are both outstanding universities, but it depends. Check out what course you're doing and which is the best one for that. When I went to drama school in Glasgow, it was the place to be because other famous drama schools uh, in London and all over were resting on the laurels at the time. So the buzz in London was, if you want to study drama, You'll have to go to Glasgow, love it. There we are. So fantastic. So have a look what course you're doing. See what's the best. All of the world then. Yep. The whole world would have to completely change itself. It would need to be flattened if you don't want any memory of slavery. And even then, people would say, why has the world been flattened? You say, well, a few woke people wanted to get rid of slavery. So and here's the new history as to why it happened. You see what I mean? Ah, a lot involved, Scotty. Oh, a lot involved. There always is. What's your secret? Oh, yes, we did that one. Do you remember being a teacher? Yes, of course I do. Thank you very much. Ah, Jamaica, my favorite place to visit. Well, somebody was saying to me, my wife's gone to the West Indies. And I said, Jamaica. He said, no, no, she went of her own accord. There we are. I have to go. Have a great day. Yes, we all have to go. Going to Dufftown next week for the first time. Have you ever been? I know it very well. Dufftown, Glen, live it. Beautiful. There we are. Gorgeous part of the world. Dinky do, Scotty. Guys, I'm going to have to dash. Have a wonderful morning. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. Ta-ra, lads. <laughs>